Today I'm going to show you what I eat on a 5-hour ride. I'm going to go for 4 watts per kilo as I've got a 200k team time trial coming up on Saturday. It's going to be quite an intense race. And I know it's not enough time to prepare for the race, but I just want to sort of condition my body so that I'm able to handle that kind of workload and uh, smash it for the guys on Saturday. For breakfast here I've got a bag of cornmeal, so I'll pop that in there. And that's 263 grams. Got the sugar here. Add some of that. Probably about 100 grams of sugar. There we go, 364. Alright, I'm ready to roll. Got two bottles of water on there. Going out for two and a half hours. And then I'll come back for lunch. Two hours, 31 minutes done, 94.6 k's, now it's time for a lunch break. For lunch I've got a bit of a savage meal here, got a pack of pasta, and just mixed in a can of tomatoes with avocado and some curry powder, and I'm going to try and finish most of this now, and just leave the rest for after the ride. Boom! By the way, if you don't make your pasta al dente, you're a shit cunt. Most of this has been annihilated and I'll have the rest when I get back. Another two bottles for round two. Let's have some fun in the sun. Four hours into the ride and beginning to feel the pressure. But the pressure's good. I'm into fucking training. I called it a day after four and a half hours. I was absolutely wrecked. It uh, felt like my head was going to explode and I was getting heart palpitations. <laughs> so yeah, I did 170 k's, 1,600 meters of climbing, 4,500 calories nearly, 37.6 k's an hour average, and 273 watts, which is four watts per kilo for me as I weigh 68 kilos. Here you can see that the graph was uniform throughout the power graph and that's good because that's what you want to do, you want to keep it nice and steady. Average cadence was 92 RPM so nice and high cadence there. Uh, average temperature 26 degrees perfect temperature for riding and to give you an idea of the intensity of this ride it's the same as uh, the world champion for Ironman he rides pretty much 4 watts per kilo for the bike leg Final thoughts for the day, that was a good ride, I pushed the envelope quite a bit as I've never held that wattage before for that amount of time, so I'm happy about it. I would have really loved to hit the 5 hour mark, but I was absolutely finished, so it's, it's all good. At least I, I felt some pain, and the pain makes you grow. So that's the positive that I see out of today. I think uh, the ride on the weekend is going to go well, because um, the, from last year the wattage was a lot lower and I was struggling quite a bit, so I think this time it'll go better. And I'm looking forward to it, it's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be good to hang out with the boys again. Um, the guys I'm going with, they, they were my teammates from last year. So it's going to be good to see them again, make jokes, and just take like a kilo of rice in the rice cooker on the way there. <laughs> for dinner, I've got a nice easy meal. Perfect for replenishing glycogen, just heaps of rice, sugar, soy milk. What more could you ask for? Yeah, you can see the total calories that I had for today was only about 5,200 and I needed about 7,200 in terms of what I burnt. Even though I ate an avocado, my fat percentage was still low at only 5% of calories from fat. Why did I eat no vegetables and so much refined food? Well, it's the easiest way for me to get the calories in 
and as you can see, I needed a lot of calories today.